welcome back to the channel everybody if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so over the last couple uh weeks i've been doing a bunch of modifications uh to the hellcat if you haven't seen my video i got the lighting trends flow series leds installed um i'll be doing another video on basically all the features and stuff on on those lights um i love them so far the pretty good i've been to a couple cars and coffee and and uh been they've been well received but um i did something to the car that i by the thumbnail you probably already saw and i added air suspension so i'm gonna talk a little bit about the specific air suspension setup that i have uh showing you the setup in the trunk and then um i'll do a little demo with the app uh, so and all that so if you're new to the channel make sure you guys like comment and subscribe so let's go all right, so right here is the Hellcat. I have it actually set up to what I consider my up setting, which is basically uh, the car almost at stock height. So as you can see, this is kind of like how it is stock with the ridiculous wheel gap. So excuse the car is a little dirty. I kind of went somewhere with it and then put it back in the garage and didn't really wash it or anything so uh but that's basically where it is right now okay so before i show you guys the kit itself let me show you the setup all right so the setup i went with is as you can see there's nothing here in the trunk so i kind of went for a more stuff look i think maybe in the future i'll do a nice little crazier setup but for right now i went for more function um and more of a stuff look so i can use my trunk now that i have my trunk kind of like this i am thinking about getting a mat because it does look hella plain but let me just show you the setup all right so there it is the airlift 3p system okay so you can see the engine management there you have the two compressors dual compressors this is a four gallon tank so i went with the four gallon tank versus the five gallon um because it obviously fits specifically here um so you can see right here we got a platform so it's on a platform that's basically carpeted the same kind of carpet material like stock so it does look like it goes there so i took out that base thing that's down there um and they did have to shave um this part down okay so that way it won't hit the tank all right but um that's the, basically the setup for right now so i like it here is the basically to let moisture out you can see that i just put a towel in there and then uh just let the moisture out so so let me know what you guys think about the setup all right so before i basically show you the app and then go into some of the stuff let me talk about the the kit that i got so this is the airlift 3p um system kit i didn't go with the airlift shocks what we did do is go with um universal bags so the universal bags basically um you remove the spring right off your shock and it goes right over your 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 strut right and what that does is it still leaves the active um suspension for the the hellcat so i'm still have my comfort sport and track suspension i don't get any codes um the car still drives actually when it's a little bit lower it actually drives a little stiffer um on some like you know turns and stuff like that so i do like that aspect of it um I haven't noticed any like crazy floatiness or anything like that. So it does drive, I would say probably basically stock uh, for the most part. So, but I do notice if I do go on track, it does get like, I think a little bit more tighter. And it might be just because it stiffens up and then the car's a little lower that um, that's why maybe it's reacting that way. So, um, and when it is tighter, I do feel like more bumps, like the car will bump up, but I usually drive it in sport I don't drive it in comfort or track um, for the suspension. So on that one right there, this perfect balance. So 
if you guys got any questions about that make sure you drop it in the comments all right so i had to come into the garage because it got super bright outside right now and i just wanted to show you the controller so as you can see here there's five presets one two three the middle one that says airlift that's the actual preset four and five so you can set up all five of those presets how you want it um i do need to adjust mine because uh i had the shop did it for me and i kind of wanted to change it up a little bit uh, i wanted to have a different stance um, so i still need to go ahead and set up all five presets these buttons on the side so this one right here is to go up and down on the left bag front and then this is the left uh rear up and down so on and so forth so that's how you can individually uh raise them and adjust them so remember this is a three-piece system this shows you what my current uh psi is it's a little bit unlevel i had to move the car down so it kind of adjusts on its own so uh, that's what i have it set up as basically for to go up into the garage all right, so now let's go ahead and let's lower the car. All right, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what my drive mode is. So it's a lot lower in the rear and in the front. And there it is. So you can see the rear and the front so i am gonna probably lower the front a little bit more and i think i want to raise the rear a little bit more let me know what you guys think but that's the current um driving stance this is a more of a aired out stance right here you see there and now the, the tank is is filling back up so you can see the rear these are pretty tall tires so it's not really gonna hit the ground you see right there it's already touching but if i had a splitter that bad boy would be on the ground so so that's the stance right now So let me know what you guys think. So a cool thing about this is, um, let's say I go into the store and I am, uh, let me step away from the car a little bit. But let's say I go into the store and it's an aired out like this. When, as soon as I turn the car on, um, it'll, it'll come up. Right now I had it on, but I put it down, so it's not gonna come up, but um, that's a pretty cool feature. It's basically up on, uh, once it's aired out, once you turn it on. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how it looks or how quick it goes back up to normal height. So here we go. That's the normal height for driving. That quick. And then up more. And then if it, it raises too much, it automatically lets air out. All right, and then lastly, a, a pretty cool feature um, that I the installer did for me. So besides the nozzle that's in the trunk uh, to let the air out and condensation out, I do have another one down here. I don't know if you can see that right there. And that lets a lot of the condensation that's at the bottom of the lines um, to, to come out a lot easier. Sometimes it'll stay kind of low so this right here, you know, remove, remove the cap and then let the condensation out. 
Uh, make sure all that condensation gets out so you don't damage your lines and your system. So um, check this one about once a month per the installer's recommendation. And then the other one in the trunk about once every two weeks. Uh, just to let that condensation out. And that's about it. So there's one more look at the car lowered down to the ground. It's kind of an even floor right here. Um, but that's the setup right now. Let me know what you guys think. All right guys, so there you go. So that's my new airlift suspension 3P for um, my Hellcat. When I start working on doing the presets and adjusting them to make them for my liking, um, I'm probably make a video so you guys can see how to adjust it and so on and so forth. But loving the system so far, it is a, a head turner. Uh, a lot of people don't really realize that you got bags until you air out right in front of them. So um, pretty cool, I love the setup. Um, and then let me know. So got another install to do pretty little i'm changing some of the badges on the hellcat so uh stay tuned for that and with that being said stay tuned stay safe stay blessed